a collisionist or collisionist, aka Robert Florence. It's all one and the same. I'm back. <sighs> I guess supposedly with part three of this spiritual narcissism shit. You know, like the cult leaders that come about, or the ones that take the guise of people's vulnerabilities like sexual assault and rape and suicide. These people have been sued, of course, but then they usually end up going back to what they were doing, if you were to look into it. Now, before I begin, yes, I do believe that we all have our own unique individual paths. But, at the same time, how do I take those to provide to say, oh, 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 society, you know? I don't look at myself as better than even those types because I'm still just human after all, just like they are. They're just sticking with their beliefs and what their truths are, just like I am. You know, I go to work every day, of course. Well, not every day, just when I'm scheduled. I do work quite often to provide for my lovely lady and help who I can. And also, I have to provide for Sir Fun Size Florence. I said half, because to me, that is right. I'm making a choice, and when I feel it's a necessity, I have to do it. Yes, I know these are all choices, of course. But through my love for them, I'm going to do so. So back to the woke crowd. Anyway. To begin, we're all awake and we're all asleep at the same time, just like we're ignorant and intelligent individuals at the same time. But, when we all become desperate, when we all become desperate, we want to be validated and find a fucking crowd that resonates with us because then it's all like, where have you been all oh, my life? Where have you been all oh, my life? And that is an interesting scenario because it's beautiful. It is a fine fucking feeling when the pieces just click in because there's people out there that believe in the same fucking things I do. Little pockets of the collective consciousness. I call it pockets because the whole collective... There's always going to be differences in it. That's why we have different cultures. That's why we have different views. And that, how do you all bring it together for a nice stained glass picture, different pieces to make some type of image? I don't have the answer for that one. In fact, I just go where I feel is right and I'm willing to learn, especially during my shit moments. Mm. Especially during my shit moments. You know when things get dense and heavy. Oh no, his vibrations are getting lower. He must be attracting that shit. Attracting those aspects of yourself. You just don't like, okay, if that's the case then. We're going to take the time to sit and learn and actually hear from that fucking reflection why they got a problem. Mm. There's always going to be something someone's not going to agree with. That's fine. It's coming to an understanding that views are different. But empathy does play a position in this. And what drives me fucking insane with these fucking woke crowds. These woke crowds. Because everybody's an expert now at everything, I guess. Seems like it in this day and age because I do YouTube research. Oh no! Or I use DuckDuckGo because I don't want to use Google because they collect my data. Well, guess what, Sunshine? I was born in the grid. I have a social security number like everybody else. And what's the device you're using right now that can be easily fucking tracked? You use a card that can be tracked. Oh my god! Take time to read the privacy policies. 
I don't, but hey, they're there. Just like your spiritual sites, you better take time to read the privacy policies. Especially when they say they're not responsible for anything and don't guarantee the same results. But hey, they'll hype it up regardless because it worked for me. Well, my inspirations came out this way, so clearly it's working for me. <laughs> oh, I love clowns. Can't you tell? I'm one with the clown. <laughs> all right, enough of my fuckery. But, mm, like Google and all that stuff, the way I look at it, when they're tracking my data, I figured I'm going to invest in them because, you know, they're making money off my shit. I'm going to make money off those motherfuckers too because I'm that bitch. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh, I'm that bitch. Now, back to my lack of empathy because I'm going to reflect that same aspect because fuck them. I follow my own truths just like anyone else to what feels right to me. My biggest issue right now is a lack of empathy for the people that have been affected by COVID. Yes, I get it. People get sick every day. They die. We're all on time. Anyways, this flesh vessel, and if you believe we are beyond time in this flesh vessel, then fucking do something else then, and stop claiming it to come back and tell me the same fucking thing because I'm too fucking asleep, because the way I look at it, consciousness decided to express itself in this individual inhabitant in some way, because probably my DNA coding that goes back is from years, years of whatever was uh, working for my ancestors, because I'm clearly here to this day. And my problem with the uh, woke crowd was when they're blind to things. Uh, like anyone else, though, they became what they hated. You know, they get so strong in their beliefs that they will fight for it, just like anybody else, but fuck someone else for believing something different. Mm hmm Y'all can have a conversation or connect. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> that's setting your ego aside, though. Uh, that's learning from a shit moment. How do you use that as an inspiration to expand your own world instead of living in your own privatized, gated community? Mm. And now I'm just as bad, too. I work so much, I'm pretty blind to a lot of fucking things out there, and I'll fucking admit it right now. But I am for human rights. Meaning, treating people equally. In this day and age, I'm not, I see it, but I don't see it at the same time. Because a lot of people just end up becoming what they hate. Especially the woke crew. That, they say this is all fear-based control. But fear leads to anger. And they're sounding pretty fucking angry. Of course. And now my problem is, is the lack of empathy they were having with the COVID shit because I know people that were personally affected by it. I know people that had to deal with the deaths and everything. And I had to be there for them as best as I could. And even that means giving them space to where we can communicate again later. So be it. How dare you deny such things like that. When someone is personally affected by it, you can go in your little crowd and powwow and shit. But you just suffered a form of narcissism yourself there. I'm so right in my own way, they're so blind to it that they, that they, that they deserved it. Well, you know what? When your shit hits the fan, I guess you deserved it too, you fuck. Oh, that doesn't sound very spiritual of you. Well, in my world, Energy's energy. It balances itself out. Why do you think my makeup's the way it is? Black, white, and it merges into one another. The world's pretty gray, huh? What someone feels is right by their choice. There's going to be a consequence for it regardless. It doesn't matter if it's under the guise of love, hate, and all that. It doesn't matter. Because there's people that just love to hate on you. And at the end of the day, we're byproducts and inspirations that involve within our heart our realizations, our perspectives. Things that happened to us in childhood can stem to now because the past created the foundation of the present, which is going to influence the future. So how 
willing are you to die with and look at your own shit. Doesn't matter how woke you are. I don't give a fuck what side you're on exactly. Are you willing to look at the dirty reflections you give? Because we all end up being our own hypocrites. We all end up contradicting ourselves because we learn and grow. I know there's some shit I've uploaded where I can be called out on that too. That doesn't matter. I've grown since then. Or I haven't, depending on who you ask. <laughs> But yes, that's all I have right now. To the woke, any type out there, are you really awake to someone else's feelings? Are you willing to listen to them? Or are you just merely trapped within your own confines? Mm. And then when you encounter those asleep types, how are you handling it? Huh? Are they not as awake as me? Or are you just not as awake to them? And to everybody else, just everybody in general, fuck it. We're always going to be doing the best we can as best as we know how. We're going to follow our own truths, but I will tell you, when you keep an open heart and open mind and willing to learn and be vulnerable, but also paying attention to shit, your world's going to expand regardless. So... That's all I got. Till next time, of course. Because I'm that bitch!